So as we start the month of December, this is also, you know, every start of the month, we start a new series, right? But we have a whole series for the year, which, is about, which we entitled Center Point. And so for this Christmas, we're also starting a series that points to Christ for Christmas. That's why we call it a Christ-centered Christmas. So put Christ in the center of Christmas. That's uh, what we are going to talk about the whole month of December. There are five Sundays for December. So today, first Sunday, second, and then uh, kanina the announcement on the third, uh, fourth Sunday, which is Christmas Eve na po yon, no? So uh, what the announcement was meaning to say, we, we don't have the traditional evening service. So we, st we still have the morning Christmas Eve service. Okay, so one service lang yon, and also on New Year's Eve, December 31, one service only, 9 a.m., no more uh, evening service. No? So maybe manaksanayan uh, yan before, people come at uh, in the evening for uh, the service. So we will not have those services in the evening. Okay? Clarification lang. Okay? Then, uh, so for the next five Sundays, this we will be tackling this different theme. So today we'll talk about the light of Christmas. Next Sunday, uh, we will talk about the best gift for Christmas. No? Best gift. So, mga two weeks pa yan before Christmas. So, may time pa kayong mag, uh, maghanap ng best gift. No? Kaya, yun ang title. And then, the third Sunday, uh, we'll focus on the simplicity of Christmas. No? Christmas is actually very uh, simple, very, uh, uh, hindi, siya, hindi siya extravagant. So, you want to make that a point no? so to understand it. And then, on, on Christmas Eve, we will talk about the miracle of Christmas. Now, there's a miracle that happened that day that all of us are affected today. And finally, um, at the last Sunday of the year, last day of the year, we will talk about the charge of Christmas. No? So Christmas did not end uh, on December 24 or 25. No? So parang every year we feel like we want Christmas no, we, we are all counting down to Christmas Day. No? So, ito, it's, it will help us move Christmas beyond just the day itself. And, you know, there's a charge that what we need to do and, and uh, accomplish as, as believers. No? So, for moving the years ahead, okay, to the next year. So, so as we start, uh, let me just uh, contextualize why we want to point... Uh, to Christ during this season. No? What we want to point to Christ during this season. Uh, these are, I'm going to show you a series of data. Ito mga survey. No, this survey was last year where people were asked, uh, what is your expectation of Christmas? Uh, almost 80% say happy. No? Happy. Mo most people would expect Christmas to be happy. Right? Pero marami nagsabi na 20% neutral, right? Happy nor sad. No, kayo? Happy ba ang expectation niya sa Pasko? O kayo yung uh, nasa 7%? No, we, we want to have a, 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 we want to expect a happy Christmas, right? Because it's an important day or, or, or uh, season for, for most of us. What will make your Christmas happy? No? Tinanong dito, yung gift. Yan. So kung magkano yung gift, how much was the gift given? No? So there was this... Uh, survey, on the average, people give gifts at least about 3,000 pesos below. Yan. Kaya kung natanggap mong gift, below 3,000 ang value, uh, tama yon because everybody is just about giving that amount. No? And why do people give, do Christmas shopping? Is because maraming sale, right? There's a lot of sale during this time. But some people say, kaya maraming gift, kasi I have to buy gifts. Napipilitan. No, that's where the pressure starts. No, lista, lista, lista. Tapos pag blast me, ay nakalimutan. So na pressure yung mga tao. And uh, that's why when people are asked, well, people are asked, what is Christmas to you? What is Christmas to you? Right? So we want to point this out because, you know, these are the big answers about Christmas. At if you look at them, hindi naman necessarily bad. For example, the top answer is, 
Christmas is a celebration of love. Right? I think that's nothing, there's nothing wrong about that. But if you look at it one by one, is there anything that talks about Jesus in this description of Christmas? Puro, it's all about the people that all of us. It's about us. It's not about Jesus. No? So this is what, uh, what's happening. No? So in fact, people feel that Christmas is stressful. Uh, yung iba sabi nila, Christmas, nag-aaway yung familia. Uh, but nag-aaway? Saan tayo kakain? Sa bahay ni daddy, ni mami, pati, uh, pinsan, uwi ba tayong probinsya? Pinag-aawayan pa yun. No? So, Christmas is stressful for some. Yeah. So, you see, there, nawala. Nawala si Jesus dun sa mga answers. <clears throat> Interestingly, pag tinanong din tayo sa survey, what is the number one Christmas song? Alam nyo ba? What is the number one for Christmas song? Uh, uh, mga sagot dito, generation yan, generation. But the actual answer is, all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> diba? Sino ba yung kumanta nun? Oh, yun, siya nga, siya nga. Si Mariah Carey. No, that, that song is number one for so long a time. Right? And number two, do you know? Uh, last Christmas. Uh, so, all these songs are about love, but about people. Not about relationship, but not about the true essence of, of Christmas. And that's why, this is the reason why we, we want, in line with our theme, to put Christ again in the center of Christmas. At least in our church. At least those of us who, who understand what's happening, point people back. To Christmas, to, to Jesus at Christmas, which is the reason why we celebrate these days. No? This is the most important occasion for our life. So, when you put, try to put Jesus back into Christmas, we need to understand what is distracting us from Jesus. Number one is the symbols, too many symbols. Right? It takes away the true symbol of Christmas, who is Jesus. Right? So, yung mga symbols, Christmas light, uh, ano ba yan, mistletoe, holly, yung mga ribbons, lights, and everything, Christmas tree. Right? They are not necessarily bad. No? Mag, kung hindi ko sinasabi, huwag kayong mag-decorate. No, it's not bad. I'm just saying, we don't miss the real essence. Second, we're focused on the gifts. That's why I showed you data. Pe oh, during Christmas, people are more concerned about gift, preparing the gifts and, and the celebration. And so Christmas becomes so elaborate when the first Christmas was so simple. Napaka-simple lang po nung first Christmas. And we want to bring meaning to Christmas, understand the miracle that it created, and finally, we want to sustain the feeling of Christmas. Sino dito gusto nyo? Araw-araw Pasko ang feeling. Yung iba, ayaw, ayaw gumastos, no? Kasi nga, we want to take out that feeling because we want to put Christ at the center of Christmas so that the feeling is about Christ, not about the celebration. Right? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> today, we're going to talk about the light of Christmas. At gusto natin yung liwanag, di ba? Pagdating ng... Uh, Nang September, alam natin, nag-iilaw nag, nag, uh, na yung mga shopping center. They put all, all of these uh, light displays and so wonderful in so many places, you know. My family and I lived in Japan for a, for a long time and, you know, they celebrate Christmas too. And this is, uh, alam ko, yung mga iba will travel to Japan this holiday. You go there, go to Tokyo, this is Sky Tree Street, you will see... So beautifully littered street, right? Celebrating Christmas without knowing what Christmas is all about. They don't uh, know. They just know that we celebrate. And they know about the symbols, especially light. No, saya sobra, no? May ta ang tawag nila dyan, illumination. No? So they, they illuminate. Many streets are so beautifully lit like that and without really understanding the meaning why you are lighting it up. No? Because to us, there is a deeper meaning. And here, close to Metro Manila, these are two houses in uh, 
Mandaluyong, no? nag-contest yata ito every year, pagandahan ng ilaw. Right? So beautifully lit houses na so many beautiful colors. No? Hindi naman, I mean, hindi yan masama. No? I'm, not saying, I'm just saying that we all wanted to see this because, you know, there's a certain kind of excitement when you see the lights, right? Parang naiiba yung feeling, gumagaan. No? Tapos pag nakarinig ka ng Christmas carol, carol gumagaan. Lalo na if you are in the mall in September, diba? pag parinig mo yung Christmas carol, uy, Pasko na. No? Pagkas parang hinihila ka, mag-shopping ka na. Mag-shopping ka na. Diba? Parang ganun yung uh, the effect. Diba? But, but it's really, it, it gives us a light feeling. Because Christmas is, 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 a, is a season that, that everybody anticipates. And, and when it comes, whether you are a believer or not, you just go with the flow. You just go with the flow. We know people who don't believe in Christ at all, who also give gifts, attend Christmas party. Diba? Tapos, nanghingi pa ng regalo. Ba, Pasko, hindi ka nagregalo. No? But we know they are not believers. No, why? Because it's the sense of everybody. No? And the lights, the symbols of Christmas is creating that kind of a feeling to all of us. But this morning, God wants us to see them but not focus on them. God wants us to see it from a bigger picture, the bigger light that He gave us. So I'd like to invite everyone to stand as we read His Word. Sabay-sabay natin basahin in John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. Let's read the Word together. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him, and nothing was created except through Him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and this life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. Father, we pray that the light that you have brought into this world will light each and every one of us this morning. Light our heart, Lord God, so that you will be the center of our Christmas celebration today and beyond. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You can take your seat. Interesting that the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John is the only one you know, that puts this very important uh, first five verses into context, that, that Jesus is from the beginning God. And so it, was tell, it is telling us, it's sending the news to all of us that when Jesus came, He was not <clears throat> just a baby, He is God already. So God in the flesh when He came. And then when He came, He came to give life and light. And we will go back to those two ideas later. And that God came, Jesus came because the world is so dark. Napaka-dilim ng mundo. Hindi dilim in the sense that you cannot see, but the world is so full of darkness. No? Pastor Ago just talked about the bombing early this morning in Marawi. Last night, there was an earthquake, in, a huge earthquake, and another earthquake previously, and the, pro the problem that continues in Israel. You know, not just that, there are so many other problems that is happening in the world. No, it's in darkness. Why are these things happening? No, the other day, naghiwalay na si Kat Neil. Hindi ko alam bakit nagkagulo ang mundo. Uh, is it darkness? I don't even know them. Ba? Generation yan, generation. So, you know, I, 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 uh, we see these things happening around us. It's affecting us, the way we think, you know. People are walking in darkness. Sabi nga ni Pastor Raymond, eh, hindi maganda yung next question. Who will be the next na maghihiwalay? Diba? What kind of thinking is that? It's about darkness. Right? It's about because people are so into the things that we cannot fix. Right? Pagka we are in darkness, God is the, the reason, very reason why Jesus came is to take us out of darkness. The darkness. Sabi nga nung kanta ni Gary, di ba? Take me out of the dark, my Lord, for I don't want to be there. Ooh, ganun ba yun? <laughs> yun yung kanta eh, di ba? 
Because why? what is darkness? It's not really madilim. It's really these three things that's happening around us. First, when we are in the darkness, we want control. So natin, we will be able to do things the way we want them. We want things to be going our way. We want things to be the way we decide them to be. We twist the hand of God. Diba? Look at the prayers that we will do when we are in darkness. We pray, but we want God to do what we want to do. We want Him to submit to our will, not to His will. No? Very subtle, but you know, yun yung feeling ng nasa darkness ang, ang pag-iisip. No? Second part that re- reveals that there is darkness around us is that there is emptiness. No? There is emptiness. Not, not good relationships, um, having good things in life, but not appreciating what they have. Or, uh, may mga plano na hindi nangyayari sa buhay. No? You can be in a crowd of people, but feeling alone. These are emptiness. Eh. Kaya naghahanap ka ng something to satisfy. You want things to satisfy you. No? These are signs that the world is in darkness. Marami pong tao are in this situation. And the worst reflection of darkness in our world is anger. No? Subtle anger. Hindi kailangan mag- mag- mal- obvious, pero yung may galit sa puso. And when you have anger in your heart, this affects not just your, per- your, your person, your family, your friends, your workplace. No? It manifests into big problems. No? Like, bakit may terrorism? Bakit may religious persecution is beca- it's coming from this single person's anger in his heart in her heart so the lord came because sabi niya people cannot see light because they have this in their lives no, isaiah 92 by the way isaiah 92 is a precursor to the famous christmas uh, to the famous christmas uh, Verse na Isaiah, Isaiah 9, 6, di ba? Sabi dun, For us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Before Isaiah said that, he said something in verse 2. Sabi niya, the people are walking in darkness. The people are walking in darkness. And because people are walking in darkness, Jesus came so that he will answer and take out darkness in the lives of people, which is reflected in this tree. And that's why he said, Jesus, when he comes, he will be wonderful counselor. He will be mighty God. He will be everlasting Father. He will be Prince of Peace. So when you have Jesus, you give him the control of your life. Your emptiness will be filled because John 10.10 10 said, I came that they may have life, and have it to the full. So, hindi ka na empty. And then, anger, he's the prince of peace. So, yung tanggalin yung mga, mga bigat at sama ng loob. So, so that's, that's really what Jesus came for. No? To take away darkness. And Christmas is about taking out darkness. You know, that's why, ang fascination natin is Christmas lights. Eh. Because we want to see bright and litted, uh, well-lit communities, homes, because it takes out the darkness. Natanggal ng kadiliman sa ating inaharap. Because three things that light will do to our lives. No? May tatlong nagagawang light. No? There are three elements here I want to share. First is that light attracts attention. No? So imagine, no? na isang room tayo, madilim dito, pero magbukas ka ng kandila, all of us will look at the candle, right? Because it will attract attention. Light will attract attention. But look, when Jesus came, nung dumating po ang Panginoon, pe- people did not notice Jesus coming. No? Jesus came unnoticed. Firstly, He was born to poor parents. So, hindi siya big time. Hindi siya pinanganak sa palas. He was not the son of kings, of royalties, but he was born to poor parents. Second, he, was, he has to go 
all the way to Bethlehem and they're from Nazareth. They're, so he was not born in where he lived, no? away from home. Napakalayo sa kanyang bahay, pinanggalingan. And then, worse is that he was born in a manger with animals. Right? So Jesus was totally unnoticed by the world when he came. And especially he was born at night, sa gabi, kung saan tulog na ang madaming tao. So he, unnoticed, he came to the world unnoticed when he was born. But that did not end there because God decided that when Jesus comes, he will attract all men to himself. God is attracting all of us to him through what he is doing in, a, in the lives of people. Right? So when Jesus came, he actually attracted attention. Nung pinanganak siya, parang wala. Pero when he grew up, he started his ministry, he attracted attention. Look, how many people were following him when he is teaching, when he is healing, when he is praying? No? How many people nabuhay because of his ministry? How many people got back their eyesight? How many people got to hear again, got to speak again? How many people were freed from demons? That is how Jesus attracted the attention of people. That when Jesus came, His light lit the world around Him. May mga nagbago, may mga inayos ang Panginoon. So that's the first thing that light will do. It will attract attention. Second, that thing that light will do is it will guide our steps. No? The light will guide our steps. So sa pag napakadilim, it's so dark, it will guide you where you are going. Right? So this is a quote from the verse, uh, verse Luke 1 to 7, uh, verse 79, quoting Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist. He was saying that his son is to give light to those who sit in darkness and shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So even John the Baptist, who preceded Jesus, was assigned to give light. So, hindi lang si Jesus ang magbibigay ng ilaw. Lahat papunta doon sa gusto ng Panginoon to the way of peace. No? Just like this, uh, this uh, lighthouse. No? Nakakita na ba kayo ng lighthouse? Yeah, wala na tayo dito sa Manila Bay. No? So, you have to go a little bit further to see lighthouses. And the very function of these lighthouses is to guide the ships no? when they enter harbors no? or when they enter rough uh, seas and, and, and very near to islands. No? So they will guide. The light is telling them, ingat ka dito, para lang hindi ka mabanga. No? So these lights uh, are very important because it guides and leads the people to the right way. I was sharing kanina, uh, umaga, the, my cousin who studied in the province many years ago, Yung uh, inuwian na, niyang uh, sa ano namin, hometown namin, she lives there. And uh, there is no light on the street. So when she comes home from school at night, pag uwi siya, talagang madilim. So the only light, si walang kuryente. The only light she has is the calculator. No? So hindi, hindi alam nung iba yun dito. Yung calculator dati, may ilaw yun. Color, yung mga color green. So yun ang ilaw. So yun talagang ilaw. Kasi ngayon, cellphone na yung hindi na natin problema. Everyone has a flashlight today. No, before, walang flashlight lahat. No? So yung calculator, double that function. So that, that's the kind of light that people have. No, in the darkest of night, napakahalaga. No? And uh, tayo, we have the benefit of 24-hour light if we want to. Diba? So that guides people where they are going. Right? And the third thing that light would do is it will expose reality. Light will expose reality. Okay? So when Jesus came, it's not just to attract people to Him. It's not just to guide us. It's also to expose us, to expose what's in our heart. Right? Pag may, sino dito gusto nyo romantic dinner? Pag mag-date, dinner, di ba? May ba, ayaw nyo aminin, gusto nyo yun, di ba? May candlelight, di ba? Yan. Bakit, bakit ganyan? I, I, read, I, read this, uh, I read this analysis from a psychologist, sabi niya. 
you know, the reason why uh, the restaurants design it this way to be in candlelight so that you can see the reality of the person in front of you. So that the, the light is only reflecting the face of the person. So makikita mo talaga. You can see the soul of the person to expose the reality of this person. So lalo na yung hindi pa nag-asawa, nag-uusap pa lang kayo, ayan, mabuti. Liwanagan mo na yung uh, muka. So you see everything that person has to say. So expose the reality. And Jesus that is doing the same thing to us. Right? And this is the verdict. Again, in John chapter 3, light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for their deeds will be exposed. Mga kapatid, this is the very reason why even if Christ had been preached, Christ had been exposed to many people, people reject Jesus. They reject Jesus for the very reason that their lives are exposed. Because when we interact with Jesus, our lives will be exposed. Malalaman natin na hindi tayo align with what God wants us to do. So God wants to align us to His life. And when He does that, people will say, Lord, hindi yan para sa akin. We're not okay. I'm, I'm just going to go away. That's why when he talked about the parable of the seeds, diba? some people take it. Some people, when nakita na na maraming challenges, ayaw na. Because the light will expose us. It will point out weaknesses. It will point out sins. It will point out yung mga ayaw nating ibigay kay God. Now, there's so many things God wanted to change in our lives, but we don't want to give it to Him and the act the, the result of that is people will get out. Ayaw. Ayaw na baguhin sila ni God. Right? So I hope that you guys, when you came to know the Lord, hindi po nag-stop doon. But you know, every day He's dealing with us. You know, I have been a Christian almost 40 years. And still, every day God deals something with me. May mga bagay pa rin akong sinasabing, Teka muna, wag muna Lord, hindi pa ngayon. No? But you know, the more you delay what God has exposed, the more you will not enjoy your fellowship with Him. The more you will feel may mga hindi, maganda, mga hindi maayos sa buhay mo. It's not because lahat yun ay pinipilit ni God sa iyo. God is just telling you, this you have to give up. This you have to change. This is not... Uh, going to push you where I want you to go. And so, when God exposes that, don't, don't delay. Deal with it with God. Kausapin niyo po si Lord. God is not a KJ. No? If you need help, let Him help you. So this is the bigger impact of the light of Jesus. He exposes sin. For those who do not know Him, Yung mga hindi talaga kilala si Jesus, when they get in touch with Him, talagang He will expose their life. To him. At sasabihin, you have to change. And that's why people who become believer, who comes to love God, you realize, no? That's why may cycle. No? Pastor Ago talked about it, re- reminding us about that cycle. No? That it cannot be Christians tapos na. No? Meron pong everyday dealing and that's why this light continues to expose the sin in each one of us the basic question now i want to ask you is that do you have the light of heaven in you do you have the light of heaven in you because if we don't have the light of heaven you know no matter what religious activity we do it will just be an activity it will just be like christmas like i said People who celebrate Christmas, not all of them, ay talagang mga Kristiyano. No, just going through the motion of Christmas. That's very easy to do. No? But if you don't have the light of heaven, ah, ano lang to? Event lang. Christmas is just going to be an event. Ah, may gift giving, may parties, no? kakain ng masarap, may family reunion, tapos, tapos na. Next year ulit. 
Right? So it, it becomes an event. But Jesus wants to tell us that He came so that this is not an event. This is a light that continues and continues and continues every day. You know? Because true light is constant. Ang tunay na liwanag ay di nagbabago. Right? Look at the Christmas lights na ito. After one year, next year, pag binuksan mo yan, may pundido na dyan. Right? Even yung mga ilaw natin, napupundi. At one point in time, they will stop emitting light. No? Why? Because they have, they have a life, certain life lang, number of years. No? Diba? Sino yung sa inyo? Bumili kayo ng, ng mga LED, sabi 10 years. Diba? Hindi pa nga na, 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 yung resibo, hindi pa na wala. Wala na yung ilaw. Right? Why? Because that's the life of this. They have an expiration date. But true light is constant. No? Albert Einstein, famous scientist, came up with the theory of relativity. No? So yung mga physicists dito, maintindihan yun, hindi ko rin maintindihan yun. No? But what he's trying to say is that he was able to develop that theories because sabi niya, I, I was able to do that because the speed of light is constant. Hindi nagbabago yung speed ng ilaw. And so I use that as basis for all the computations that I did. So, yung liwanag, kung ano yung siya nakita, hindi siya nagbabago. Unless, un, unless strobe light yan. No? Pero kung fix yung light, yan lang siya. Hindi siya nagbabago. Its speed is the same throughout. And that's why the true light is Jesus Christ. Because His light is constant. Whether we look at Him or not, andun lang yung light. The light of Christ has always been there waiting for us. Sa dami kasi ng distraction natin, we look at so many lights, nako-confuse na tayo. San ba talaga tayo titingin? No, there's just one single light we need to look at. It is the light of Christ. And I know He has been pointing Himself to all of us at pag ha, ha, the more we refuse that light in our life, the more, the more it will shine brighter because God has been calling us. No? I'm sharing my light with you. Sabi, sabi dun sa Revelations 21, Revelations 21, 23, you know, when Jesus comes in the next life, you know, there will be no need of all these lights. Wala, wala na pong negosyo yung mga gagawa ng ilaw pag bumalik si Jesus. Because in Revelation 21-23, the city does not need the sun nor the moon to shine on it. Hindi na kailangan. For the glory of God gives it light and the lamp it, is its lamp. Ang ilaw is Jesus Himself. So no need for light na mga artificial or may expiration date. It is the light of Jesus that will light up the world so bright that we don't need any more light. Gusto nyo ba yung ganun? Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-switch. Laging may liwanag. Laging maliwanag. No? And this is not just physical light. It's also light in the mind. Yung hindi ka naguguluhan. Malinaw ang isip. No? Kaya the same word we use in Tagalog, malinaw, clear. No? What makes it clear? It's the light of Jesus that makes it clear. It's the peace of Jesus that makes it clear. It's the presence of Jesus that makes you feel like hindi ka alone. No? So that is the light of heaven. And I like the Apostle John, when, he, when we read this first verse, uh, the verses we read earlier, he was pointing out to this important fact. Sabi niya, true light is life. You cannot have life without light. You cannot have life without light. So kung may buhay ka, you will have light. And John 14 says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So if Jesus is life, He is also light. So if you have Him in your life, you will have light. May kaliwanagan. There will be clearness. There will be understanding. There will be direction in what we do because He is light and He is life. Kaya mga kapatid, if you are, you, if you are coming to church 
and you don't feel that there is life in you, you know what is missing. It is Jesus. And if you have life in you, but you don't seem to understand things, you don't have the light, it's because Jesus wants to clear it. No? Kiniklaro niya yung buhay natin. He wants to make our life very focused to what He wants us to do. That is the light of heaven. And that is Jesus Christ. No? Mga kapatid, Christmas will, will be ending on December 25. Pagkatapos noon, next year na uli. Parang ang hirap naman na ganun lang tayo ng ganun. No? Hindi constant yung celebration if it's an event. But if it, Christmas is living in us every day, it will be constant. It will make our life better. So, strive to make the light of Christmas continue. Okay? How do you continue this light beyond Christmas? Paano, paano iko continue ang uh, Christmas na ito? Sabi ni Jesus, I have come to the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. God doesn't want us to stay in darkness. So if you have been a believer or you are not yet a believer, God is offering you. You can have light. You, can, you don't stay in that darkness. You don't stay in that darkness of worry. Don't stay in that darkness of frustration. Don't stay in that darkness of sickness. Don't stay in that darkness of, of financial problems. God wants you to see the light. And it is Him. Pagdating niya, kasama lahat yun. Okay? And when you have that light in you, pag meron ka na nun, we are also charged. Meron ding instruction. The Lord calls you the light of the world. Sabi dito, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Yeah, tignan mo nga, yung katabi mo. Is that person next to you the light of the world? Tignan mo nga, tignan mo. Kung light of the world. Hindi po tayong nagsabi niyan. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. No, He did not say yung katabi mo. Ikaw! Ikaw mismo ang ilaw ng mundo. You are the light of the world. Jesus calls you that. And therefore, what He is saying is that if you have me, then you light the world. No? Hindi na kailangan ng marami pang hahanapin, easy switch. Hindi na. You are already the light of the world. What are you doing with that light? Don't hide that light. Share it to others. Show it to others. Leave it so that others can know me. That is the reason why we have that light. So that hindi natatapos yung Pasko. Ba? So you know, if you have a you may, may small group kayo, may, may care group, di ba? People in the care group, you know, nakakilala nyo, may, yung merong may problema, ano nangyayari? Those who have clearer light can illumine the others na para lumiwanag din sila. Di ba ninyo napansin, pag isang ilaw lang, hindi enough, di ba? Minsan, pag tinaktibi, tabi, tabi mo yung mga ilaw, ano nangyayari? Sobrang liwanag. Di ba? And that's the reason why we are joined together. Why we are a church. We should be a light to the people around us. To the street there. No? Yung liwanag na yun ang hinahanap ng mga taong wala kay Kristo. They're looking for that light. And you are that light. That is the charge of the Lord. And so as we end, you want to ask these questions. No? Para yung Pasko, hindi lang season. It's not just a season. We want that experience of the, of the light of God to be a daily experience. And how do we do it? We answer these questions. No? Una, first question we have to answer very personally. Do I have the light of Christ in my life? Do you have Jesus in your life? Do you have Him in your life? To answer that. Second, if you are the light of the world, are you attracting others to His light? Are you pointing? Is your life pointing to Him? Pointing others to Jesus? Third, when you make decisions, is Christ the one guiding you in your decision? Siya ba ang nag-guide? Kasi siya yung light, di ba? Siya yung nag-guide. 
And finally, are we responding into His light in our dark areas? Sabi ko nga, no? as believers, meron tayong areas ng buhay natin that God wants to deal. He has been telling you, sh- openings, ito anak, kailangan baguhin mo. Ito anak, I don't want you to do this. Ito anak, it's not good for you. Jesus has been telling us those things. What are we doing? Are we responding? Are we responding? So as we move to this Christmas season, as we, you know, go forward, we don't want it to, to just pass by again and be waiting again for next year. Right? We do it now. We answer these questions now. And so that our Christmas this year, next year, every year would be filled with the light of Christ. And so that, sabi nga nung kanta ng nating uh, carol sa Pilipino, araw-araw ay magiging Pasko lagi. That is a prayer. That is a hope. It only happens when each one of us have the light of Christ in us. Let us pray. I'd like to take this challenge, opportunity challenge for all of us as heads are bowed and eyes are closed. I want everyone to close their eyes and bow. Even those of you who are uh, joining us online, you can do the same. Bow your heads and examine ourselves in regard to our celebration of Christmas. Where is Jesus in this celebration? Is He the light in this celebration? But the most important question I want to ask you, and I'll give you this opportunity. Do you have the light of Christ in your life? Is Jesus in your life right now? Because if you don't have His life, then you will not have light. And everything is just an exercise of season. But God wants us to go beyond that. Gusto ni Lord, higit-higit pa dyan. Because He wants to deal with our darkness. He wants to pull you out of darkness. Is anyone here, you want Jesus to be in your life? so that you will be pulled out of darkness. Meron ba dito? You can raise your hand and I'll pray for you. Anyone here? Thank you. Yes, you can put it down. Yes, yes, I saw those hands. I saw them. I saw them. You can put them down. Meron pa po? Yes. Maraming kamay po. Salamat po. Thank you for that admission that you need the light of Christ in your life. The second group of people I want to pray for this morning. What area of your life Jesus is showing you right now? I know the Lord is showing you areas of your life that He's saying, Ayoko to, anak. You have to change this. God is telling you that right now. Don't hold on to it. Give it to Jesus. Give it to God. Let God deal with it. Yung sama ng loob mo, ibigay mo kay God. Yung inis mo, ibigay mo kay God. Yung unforgiveness, ibigay mo kay God. God wants to deal with that. Yung tampo mo kay God, anger mo, give it to God. God wants to take it. God wants to deal with it. I know God is showing you areas of your life where He wants you to surrender. Pinapakita niya po. So, I want to give this chance to people. If you, if God showed you something that He wants you to surrender and you want to surrender, please raise your hand. I'll pray with you. Yes, yes, yes. Anyone else? Yes, yes. I see many hands. No, don't, don't hold. Give it to God. Thank you, thank you. The balcony, I saw your hands. Thank you. Pwede na pong ibaba. Yung iba pa po, may pinakita po si God sa inyong area na gusto niyang baguhin. Please don't hold. Give it to Him. Let me pray. Thank you, Father, for this revelation. Pagpapalinaw po sa amin. Lord, indeed, this world is so confusing. So much darkness, so much pressure, so much stress. But thank you for those who raised their hands to the Lord who said they want you uh, in their life and light in, your, in their lives, Lord. Please do, Lord. Please become the light 
in their life, Lord. So that it will not be a season only Christmas, but a daily experience. Father, we also pray for those who raise their hands na meron po silang hindi maibigay, mabigat, Lord God. Hindi nila kayang ibigay sa inyo. Lord, they raise their hand because they are saying, Lord, hindi na namin kaya, binibigay na namin sa inyo. We are surrendering it to you. Thank you, Lord, for dealing with these problems, with these challenges, Lord. Salamat po, Lord God. Thank you for setting people free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful opportunity to just bless your people, to pray for your people. And Lord, that from today, we will, you will make our Christmas meaningful and not a season, but a daily experience. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.